Hello everybody, it's me again. And so I am fairly new to these videos and I don't have the setup like a lot of you guys do. It's just me. I ordered a little tripod thing that's supposed to come today. So we'll see if that helps any, but it's just me being all real. You're propped up on this lamp. You can probably see this light bulb here. Yeah, so it's just the real life of me. <laughs> I wanted to get on here so I've had a few questions um, about math. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who has started watching my channel. I have received a lot of feedback. Um, in the beginning, my, on my first video, the one about introducing myself and about uh, switching from BJU to ACE, so being a little new to these videos, I clicked some things where I didn't allow commenting and I didn't mean to, so I was able to go back because I was thinking I'm getting all these views and people are private messaging me, but nobody's commenting on my videos. So I think I have fixed that. So hopefully I have and you're able to comment now on the videos. And I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm learning new things. Hopefully I'll be able to do a fancy introduction one day to my videos. <laughs> so we shall see. Ignore the background noise. This is real life. We haven't started school yet today. So the kids are playing a little bit. But I wanted to get on here and talk about math. Okay, so people have asked how I deal with all the problems in ACE math. So I'm going to be honest and real. We've done some kind of switching some stuff. So I'm going to be real along the way here. I'm going to show you some example paces. I'm going to turn the video around here in just a minute and show you kind of what we do. There is not a lot of ways to get around um, all the math problems. Um, and it starts mainly in first grade is not too bad. Second grade, third grade, fourth grade you get to where you get a lot of just the same, like one sheet is double digit subtraction and borrowing and carrying, carrying, and one sheet is maybe multiplication. And so it can get a little overwhelming to the student, especially if you're having them do three to five pages a day. Five pages is a lot. I've never had my kids do five pages of math a day, unless it's something, you know, really, really simple. But normal, our day is three to four days, or three to four pages, I'm sorry, of math, depending on what is covered. So this is kind of how we switch things up. So let me turn the camera around here. Okay, so here are a few examples of some of the paces that we have done. So what I do is, here's an example here. So I'll have my son do the first row, and if he gets all of them correct, I will let him skip the next row. Unless this is a brand new concept. If this is the first day that he has started this concept, I might not let him do that. But that is something that we do. Um, we also sometimes will do skipping every other problem. Okay, so here I had him do this top row. And if he didn't get it, if he got them all correct, he could skip this, do this. And this really makes a difference for kids. When they see you crossing out some stuff, it's a huge thing. Huge, huge. Um, over here, let's see, my next page. Here I kind of did the same thing. He worked this, I crossed this out, let him work this, cross this out. Um, I'm not saying that it's not good for them to work this many problems, but every child is different and sometimes it can be very overwhelming. Now I am going to share with you what we are doing right now. So as I mentioned on one of my other videos, I have a son that is in vision therapy right now. And it's for several different reasons, but for a couple, the main reasons are sometimes when he looks at a page full of the same thing, like an example, this a math page that is nothing but the same problems. Like I had him skip this page because he did the other page, but all of these are just problems. Okay, so... For him right now, if he opens to that page and he sees that page, he might see it magnified two to three times than it really is because he sometimes sees double. He's not, he doesn't have double vision. It's hard to explain. He doesn't have double vision, but sometimes in a moment, it will all just double. He also has some that pop out at him. Like if it's two plus two, he might see 22 plus 22. So... I have had to try to figure out how we can tweak this for such a time as this. So um, we're in therapy for four and a half months. We are two months in. 
So when we first started therapy, I started talking to the therapist, asking her, you know, what she suggests. And there's not really anything that she suggests that we change. Just, I know my son and to do whatever I feel is best is what she said. She says that I'm with him more. So I know more than she does about what he sees and what he doesn't. So I prayed about it. I didn't know what to do because we went all in with ACE and I purchased ACE and I love ACE. And, um, it's not really overwhelming to him, like the reading and stuff, because it's different. But when you have work, when you have problems like numbers, they all can be the same. So I had to figure out what to do. And so what I did, and I hate to even say this because um, this is kind of exclusively ACE, but this is our life. And so for this season, this moment, I had to change math uh, for him. And so I ordered CLE, which is Christian Light Education. And we are doing that. And I'm going to show you real quick what it is. Um, but we are doing that right now. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to stick with it. It's just working right now for us because it's always, it's not a page of just the same problems. It's different things. So it helps with his eyes right now to break it up. That is the main reason I, I'm, I've switched at this moment is for him. And so then I went ahead. I have... Two boys is what I have. I have a seven-year-old and I have a nine-year-old. And so they are one grade behind. I have a second and third grader. And so um, what one does, the other wants to do. So he's seen his brother's math and he wanted to try it. So I've let him. And they're doing good. They've, they've done great in ACE math. Um, I never have had a problem with my kids with math. They do. They, they enjoy math. And so I'm going to flip this camera around and just show you real fast the CLE so you'll kind of see. Okay, so this is a CLE math book. This is an example of a lesson. Uh, it's more you don't really set goals. You just go by lesson, lesson two, and then there's lesson three. So it brings it here. And let me add this in real quick. So I mentioned that math, there are two different kinds of math. There is a mastery. And there is a spiral. A mastery introduces a concept and you work it and you work it and you work it until you master that concept. ACE is a mastery with math. CLE is a spiral. Spiral is you are introduced to a new concept and then they, this is a new concept and then you review the things that you've learned. So this is a spiral approach. So this is, I'll just show you real quickly. So it has him, it wants him to, it wants him to count forward and backwards by 12s to 60, count forwards and backwards by fives to 60. There are flashcards, which we do flashcards anyway, every day, and there are speed drills and then you record. Okay. So it introduces this new concept, how much time has passed. So he's already worked on time. So this is showing kind of how much time has passed. It's a word problem for it. This is another new, new concept. Then he works this new concept. So he's introduced something, he worked it, he's introduced again, he worked it. Now it's we remember. And then it goes here on stuff that he's remembered. And this is the ones he got wrong and he had to correct them. This is stuff that he's done before. It just kind of goes over clocks. And every lesson is like this. It's introduced a new thing. And then we get to we remember, and then they work it, and that's a lesson. And then each day there is a speed drill, and my kids love speed drills each day. He sets his timer for two minutes. He has a little timer. They both do, and he does his speed drills, and he writes his sevens backwards. Um, so he does this. They do speed drills, and then there are flashcards, which are just regular flashcards. That is CLE math. So we are doing that math right now to get us through um, where we're at. I don't know if we'll stay with it for a little bit and I, I don't really know. I don't know what happens from here. I guess it just, uh, we'll figure it out after a vision therapy. But my main focus today was on ACE math and it's a very good math. Uh, I did it growing up. I didn't do homeschool my whole life, but when I homeschool, I did ACE math and it's great. I mean, it's to me, a mastery approach is the way to go. Um, cause you master a concept and then you move on. ACE math is a very good math. We are just in a different season right now, but my goal and my plan is to go back to that. So we love ACE so much that I have already purchased several years 
um, of schooling for my kids with ACE. Uh, I've gotten deals. I had, there was someone locally that, uh, put three or four of their children in ACE and right after they had purchased everything, they weren't able to do it. She had to go back to work. So she had to put her kids back in school. And so I got several years of ACE for so cheap. And so we plan on using ACE. ACE is working. Um, math has been great. Uh, English, we love English. My kids are doing really good with English word building. They are learning so many new words and how to spell them. We love word building. Um, creative writing literature, we do that also. I know some families do not. I think that subject is very important. The word building and the English creative writing and literature, to me, all work together. I know that some people, the creative writing, they say to use a year lower. I do not. I use the same level of the other books for my children. So I'm not really sure. We just go at a, if we need to slow down with it, we do. But it's at, it's at the same level, in my opinion, as the rest of them. Um, science and social studies we use. The level my kids are at right now, they are learning a lot with science and social studies. But I love science and social studies because there's so much reading. And I know that some people might have a problem with that. But it is so much reading that it, sh it really helps them. Uh, to comprehend their reading and their learning. And so we use all, all the subjects for ACE, except for right now, we're not using the math and we do not use ACE Bible because, um, and I kind of shared that because it's kind of the same as ACE, but ACE is the Bible verses. And then you fill in CLE is the Bible story. And then they fill in. So my kids are still elementary enough that the story form, they learn a little bit better. But we do have the paces for ACE Bible, and we will be doing them. Um, a couple things for math real quick while I'm on here. So I am a firm believer in learning math facts. And I believe that if your child does not get them down, that they will struggle with math. And so we are still in our learning the math facts and trying to get them down. So some ways that you can do that, some ways that we do that, some ways you can do that. Flashcards, flashcards, they're your best friends. So we have several different kinds of flashcards. We have um, some Oda Becca flashcards we, that I purchased from the school that my kids were in uh, when they closed the doors. They're just subtraction and their addition. I'm sorry that I'm touching my face. I've got some lotion on my face and it's sticky. Um, and my hair is wet. I just got out of the shower. So please ignore how I look. So, um, a Becca flashcards, just right. You can go to the Dollar Tree and you can get addition and subtraction flashcards. Um, we have C the CLE packet of flashcards and I know it's backwards. It's addition and subtraction. And the way they have it set up is really cool. You don't even have to use CLE to to use this method, but they have it set up. And I, again, it's backwards, but it says A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And so you go and you pull out their label, the flashcards for level A, and they master those first. No, they're backwards, I'm sorry. And then move on to the B. Um, and I do like that concept, so I know because it's kind of hard. Well, what flashcards do you start out with? Do you want all of them to do all zeros? No, it's good to mix subtraction and addition together when they're learning their facts. Just give them to them. My boys are close enough in age. They sit in front of me right at the beginning of the school. They sit in front of me in their chairs. I'll sit at my desk and I'll just show them flashcards and I tell them just to speak it when they know it, just speak it out. Another thing that helps, there is a website and it's called, let me look here to make sure, Extra Math. I think it's .com. If you just type in extra math, it'll tell you it's X T R A M A T H. I think it's dot com. Um, that teaches math facts as well. You can go there and you, and it's free. It's all free. You just go on there and you'll register your kid's name so they keep track of it. And your child will go in and then they'll do these math problems and then it has a stopping point. You can do as many as you want a day. Go back and do it and see if you can do them better. So we do that. That kind of breaks up the monotony of books and just mom. They can go online and do that. Um, another thing, let's see. I didn't write any notes, so I'm trying to think. Uh, flashcards, extra math. Um, I, I bought this. We haven't used it a lot lately. I just barely got it. It's called Math Shark. Again, it's backwards. It's a little handheld thing. So we're in the car a lot. And um, I thought this would be great that they can use in the car. 
And so it does addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. It does decimals, fractions, uh, percentages. And so it keeps track on here like it gives you a problem. And you can go in here and set. Like if you want your child to do all nines in multiplication, you can set it and it, it brings it up and they'll type in the answer. So this is really cool. I think this was $22 to $25 on Amazon. And there are a few different ones. But this is the one I read the reviews and I did a lot of research. This was the best one for the best bang for the buck. Another thing that I ordered and we have not used it yet. And I know it's backwards as well. Try facts. Math facts fun. And it's a game. And so it's in a triangle here. And you can do, I think it's two to four players. Yeah, two to four players. It says ages six and up. But you go, you put in here and you can do like, I don't even know what it says here. I can only see, but one plus two, three. Um, three minus one, two. And so you use your cards. It's really cool. I got this on Amazon also. I plan on playing it today with my kids. But that's some things that you can do for math. Um, I know specifically I've been asked about how to get around these facts. Also, there is nothing wrong. Now, I'm not over ACE, and I don't know, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but... For us, I see nothing wrong with skipping pages. And so if you've seen that one page that I put skip on and a red marker and let him skip, he had done multiplication for days and days and days. This, this I put skip, you can't really read up there. It's backwards. Um, he had done multiplication for days and days and days and days. He had, I think, four pages that day. And I could just see he was just bogging down and bogging down. And you can tell, watch your kids' kids's body language and... You can tell whether it's a struggle that they don't know it or it's too much or they don't understand. You can read your kids. If you are a good mother, a good homeschool mom or dad, there could be dads, homeschool dads. If you're, a, if you, I don't mean good, but I, if you're watching your children, like I have said, when we do school, I'm in the school room. They have me a hundred percent. They've got my attention. They need me. I'm there. I watch them. I try to watch how they react to things. Now kids are going to try you. And they're going to be like, oh, if they watch you cross out some the day before, because my kids do this, mom, I just can't do it. It's, this is just too many problems. I can't do it. So they're going to try you. So I'm not saying do this every day because then they'll get used to it. But when, there does come a time sometimes when it's just overwhelming and you just got to kind of, another thing that might help and that we have done is break up your math. So if you have four pages that day, start out with math. We always start with math. Math is one of our longest subjects. We always start with math. My kids know, get your math books out. And then the rest of the day, they can do it in whatever order they want to. But math always comes first. But if it gets to where it's just a lot, do and you have, say, four pages that you're doing that day, do two in the morning, let them do some more work, break for lunch, afternoon, do two more pages. That will also help. Um, there is, I've heard that complaint a lot, though, that there's, there's so many math problems and it becomes overwhelming, but if you stick with it the way they do it, and the, then, then the, I can't even speak, um, how they introduce it and how they put it out, it works. And so if you stick with it, it will work. And it, then you'll see a year or two down the road, you'll be like, well, wow, all those times that my kids complained, I see why they had to do it. Because it's teaching them their math facts. They have all of those problems in the beginning of addition and subtraction. One of the main reasons is to teach their math facts. Because if they do not get their math facts down, they are going to struggle when they get to multiplication. It's going to take them longer than just 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 4 times 4. If they don't, they're going to be like 1, 2, 3, 4. Also, another thing, and I do not have it here. Um, is an, I think it's pronounced an abacus. I don't even know. I've never even really used them. I've seen them in toy places. Hey, son. Hey, Tuck. Come here, bub. I'll let him grab it for me. This works also in Unifix cubes. We have Unifix. Can you hand me that abacus down there? So for math, you know, break it up. Don't make it all just a drudgery. I don't care if they're in second, third, fourth, fifth grade. Sometimes things are just fun. Um, when my littlest one started out with math doing addition, he loved Legos. And so I would just, some of the, we have a Lego room in our house. And so I would just get Legos. And so he would use those as his counters, math counters. He loved them. Then there came a time to where he just wanted to play. And so I had to take those away. There are Unifix cubes. We use those for math. 
And when my kids do math, they know where these are. I'll just lay them out and whatever they choose to use if they choose to. But these uh, Unikit Fix Cubes, I'll take them out here. They're, there's 10 of them and they just pop apart. And they're just Unifix Cubes. Uh, they're for counting for math. This is an abacus, and forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, but I think that's what they're called. And so I bought this one on Amazon. This was a cheap one. I think it was under $10, maybe under $12. And so there are so many of them. There's some that's just all the beads are a different color, but I wanted something that my kids could grow with. So I made sure each line had 10 and that there were five in each group. So there's five red in each line and five white. And so they can figure out, okay, five plus three, and they can count there's eight or seven plus seven they can count them they like this sometimes they play with it but for a while they'll stay focused and they'll do it that helps my oldest son he started and i wish i never would have let him but kids are going to learn how they learn a number chart he is glued to this number chart he has one at his desk i have one here we use them. This is a laminated one. There's one to 100 and then 101 to 200 on the back. We do skip counting with this a lot. I'll give them a dry erase marker and I'll be like, okay, we're going to do threes. So skip count your threes and it'll circle three, six, nine, twelve. 12. Uh, these are really awesome. I did purchase this from CLE, but you can make your own. It was like a couple bucks. Um, but he uses this for all his addition, his subtraction, his multiplication. And it's okay, and I'll tell him, if you can use it, that's okay, because we're still learning our facts. But I don't want him to get so used to this, because I try to tell him, you won't always have a number chart with you. And if you're out and about and you need to know something, you will not always have that number chart there. And I'm okay with my kids using fingers for math. And so they'll use their fingers, and I'll, I'll tell them, because they'll hide them. And I'll be like, don't hide, you can use your fingers. Cause, because until they get those facts, you need to push facts. Push, push, push facts. Speed drills. That's another awesome thing. Um, and they're in the back of our, our our CLE books that we're using now. But you can order, and I'm not sure. Yes, I am sure. I ordered these from Amazon. They are, they. I think they were like $5. Um, 100 days of time tests, which we don't use them that way. They're just a whole bunch of problems. Addition and subtraction. And in the back, there's multiplication ones. There's division ones. So... A lot of kids get scared with speed drills. My kids thrive with speed drills. They love to set their timer. I suggest buy a little timer, a little kitchen timer. I don't have mine here. They have it at their desk, but it's just a little digital timer. I ordered them from Amazon, a two pack for less than $10. It's easy enough that they can set their self. They know how to do it. They'll set it and they'll start these drills and they love, love, love them. Even sometimes with the AC math, my kid would just be sitting there and I'm like, Hey buddy, you want me to time you? And they're like, yeah, I would set the timer, not like five minutes and see how many they can get done in five minutes. I would start it at one, two, three. And then I would tell them, wow, it only took you six minutes to do this. And no matter if it's three minutes or 15 minutes, if you make it a big deal, it's a big deal to them. Like, well, it took you 15 minutes. No, you don't want to say that to your child. Wow. It only took you 15 minutes. I'm so proud of you. You did a great job. Those things that you say like that mean the world to kids and their math because they're already feeling defeated because there's a lot of problems like I can't get this done my youngest he sits over there and he's like mom mom and I'll be like you can do this bub you are so smart so encouragement also goes a long way but I'm going to get off here thanks for watching this is some helps nothing that's genius but it has helped us along the way I'll be doing some more videos please like and share comment if you want to um subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos in a, in a short amount of time here. I have several things that people want me to cover. There's not very many AC videos. So please subscribe so you'll be notified. Bye guys. Have a blessed day.